What's going on, Doc? You got it, bro. Now, what's your name, bro? I'm Brent. And I'm Fred. And we are the Spears Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> and today we have uh, a different kind of uh, episode. We are going to do a challenge. Challenge, challenge for those that uh, are <laughs> uninitiated. Well, we, we got work here, man. Well, we got uh, two really good uh, bottles by reputation. Uh, to my left is the uh, Bell Mead Reserve. And um, to the right is Noah's Mill. And it's uh, obviously they're both bourbons. And uh, well, tell, tell me a little bit, because I'm unfamiliar with both and I've, I've not had them. But I've only had, I have not had the Noah's Mill at all. And I have had a taste of some Bell Mead. But it wasn't the reserve. Yeah, because you got the bell meat from me. Well, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. he do that to me every time. I did. I did. Uh, you, 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 you hooked the brother up. But it yes. was it wasn't this bell meat. It was not. It was the bell meat that was finished in in the Madeira cast. Okay. And um, so one of my one of my uh, uh, general managers of a cigar bar here in Omaha, uh, he uh, encouraged me to try uh, this uh, bell meat reserve. Uh, which who, he had who, on his bar. Who hooked you up, man? Uh, Big John at Safari. Way to go, Big John. Appreciate yeah, it, it, was really, it, out, it was really good stuff. And so I got this bottle from him. He's got a few bottles in this room, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. He made. I, I saw him the other day, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I stopped out there uh, after my daughter's birthday dinner and stuff. Okay. Yeah. But in any event, this is a 54.15 uh, a ABV, 108 proof. Uh, it's a 9H statement. And uh, it's uh, just kind of a really heavy, uh, thick bottle. Uh, it, it has an elegance to it. But let me just tell you something, uh, just kind of off the cuff and stuff. Okay. Uh, someone made the comment to me that this bottle is the exact same bottle uh, that the Old Forest of 1920 is in. You mean that one over there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. Let's, take look, let's take a look at, let's do a bottle <laughs> comparison before we, we get into our tasting. Are these bottles exactly alike? They're awful close. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They are awfully close, bruh. I can't believe I had that bottle just sitting up right there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the feel of this bottle. I mean, I realize it's, it's something that's superficial. It's the juice that's in, inside the bottle yep. that matters. Yep. But, uh, you know, there's something to be said about the feel of the bottle that uh, you, you, well, quit, you're know you pouring quit, out quit, of. Quit, quit messing with that bottle where you're messing with it. You're getting me some... I'm not quite sure, but you keep rubbing on it and stuff. Get get to the other bottle. The other bottle is the one that got is more interesting to me because that's not something you see. Man, this looks a like a wine bottle. It looks like a wine. It looks like a wine bottle. It's not a standard bourbon bottle. No, it's, it's right. not. It's not. And so I got this at uh, Spirits and Things uh, here in Omaha. Uh, they had it on uh, Tex uh, sale. And what did you get uh, for? I, I think it was ten dollars off, and I think. I don't remember if it was 39 or 49, okay. but whatever $10 off is for this normal, uh, normally, uh, that's what I got it for. But it says this batch of bourbon was aged in wooden barrels until fully matured, bottled by hand at 57.15% alcohol ABV at 114.3 We're getting up proof. There, so the reason why, folks, we wanted to do a, uh, a challenge <laughs> <laughs> between these two bottles is because the proof points are fairly comparable. Yeah. Uh, these are both Kentucky bottlings. <laughs> Where are we gonna go first? We gonna right, go let's with the, do, the well, milk? Let's do, let's do that one first. first. Okay. Yeah, so let's do the nose with this one. Mm, see, that's that's some prominence there. Perfume. That's some dried fruit, man. Mm. It's kind of like a, a aged fruit cocktail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe slightly a little bit of. Uh, Caramel corn, mm -hmm. you know. This has got this has got an excellent nose, man. I, I Let's do some yeah. taste on the on yeah. the nose milk and see what it look like. Cheers, bro. Cheers. This is before the the palate, but on the nose, I didn't detect a, a real strong alcohol. Um, no, but I get it on the on the palate. But I started getting it on that last bit of nose. Yeah. The last nose, I started getting. I didn't get any on the pal on the nose. I, I got I, it on the palate. I didn't either. When I was getting it on yeah. the nose for the last shot, you was on the palate yeah, at the man. same time. It, so it, 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 it's definitely a, 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 a Kentucky bourbon, you know. Yeah. Wow. This is sweet, though. It has got a sweetness to it. That's that caramel corn and that dried fruit coming in, I think. For me. Man, it's got a really good 
I just got a long finish on. Yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. This. This. This is good, bro. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this. You know, it's almost. It's almost syrupy. The, the, the finish is. It's not the longest finish in the world, um, but it's not short. No. It's not short. And I'm not sure. I'm quite to the syrupy. It's sweet, but it's a it's a good sweet. It's a good balance of flavors. It's it's it covers the the spectrum of what I need yeah. my bourbon to to hit, and it's hitting all of them like boom 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 boom. And, you know. And so you know when I say syrupy, I, you know a lot of people associate that terminology with something like. Um, of, you know, they'll say you know uh, a big mouth feel, mouth feel, or a viscous, or oily. Yeah. And I don't think it's necessarily it's not vic viscous, viscous or oily. No, I don't at, exactly at any at any in any, any means. And yeah. I, when, I, when you say syrupy, to me syrupy is, is, is the sweetness and how much sweetness that you have that's in it, well, and it's and it's that lingering sweetness that you end up having. Well, that's, that's what syrupy is to me. Well, that, that's what I was talking about. You finally agree with me on something? No, you agree with me, bro. I'm the one who <laughs> no, said it. Man, I had to, I had to let you know what you were trying to say, though. <laughs> you, 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 you were trying to make sure that you was on the same page when I was on. <laughs> that, that would work. Okay. All right. All right, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this, man. But yeah, you know, we let that 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 bell meat open up here slightly, not nearly as much as it should. We need, I need to get me some water first here before we. Yeah. Yeah, this might have been. Well, of course, we, you know, it made sense for us to do it this way to give the bell meat some time to open up. I'm glad you thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just—he killing you, bro. <laughs> Okay. It, it is opening up a bit, though. It is. Just a little it, bit. It just needs a little bit of air. But I'm not, I'm not catching a whole lot right away. We already tasting? Uh, no, that was just a... Uh, is that what it was? <coughs> oh, okay. I was, I was, I, <laughs> I'm just slow to the party, bro. Come on, cheers, cheers. bro. <laughs> now, we need to finish the nose. And, I mean, how we doing this? What's what? We got script? Are we just going to do... We just go solo? Or what are we doing? No, man. Come I on. need to catch up? Or what? <laughs> somebody <laughs> or you got, got somewhere to go. Somebody, <laughs> somebody got to take a leap, bro. <laughs> you, got, you got somewhere to go. Okay. Oh, so man. we must be on the palate then. We didn't even get through the nose. Y'all not doing the nose. <laughs> Because on the nose, I'm not feeling the whole lot anyway. Well, it's really not not picking out. It's not kicking out, uh, out a lot on the nose at this particular point. And it might be because well, it's a, a neck pour. A little bit of oak and a, can and a little bit of car caramel on it. But, you know, it is a neck pour. Let's let's get to the palate then. Cheers, brother. <laughs> since since we, didn't, we didn't left that damn step out. Uh, and we just, just skipped or something I'm, else. I'm going to pay know? for that, Mr. <laughs> uh, it's I like that. It's got a complexity to it, it man. It kind of rolls. It does. It rolls. It's not quite as intense as the Norse Mill, but it's what, got... What was ABB on that again? It was 108, I believe. Let me just double check here. Yep, 108.3. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, It. I think this... That's That, to me, is, is, is more complex. Yeah, I agree. And it, it, the alcohol content doesn't hit me as much when I'm on the finish either as the Noah's Mill did. The alcohol content in the Noah's Mill hit me a little bit harder. That's a little bit smoother. It's more complex than Noah's Mill. Yeah. I'll, I'll agree with you on that point. It's more complex. Um, you, your, your, your palate is picking up a bunch of different things. Uh, it's it's kind of like I don't know, something that's just going round and round. And, you know, almost like a back rack wheel. You don't know where it's going to stop. Well, that's got some leather in it. Like a, like a plum taste to it. It's that sweetness that I'm picking up. I'm picking up some kind of sweetness that I'm not used to having. And, and, and it's like a dry plum type of taste to it. That actually is a really good uh, yeah. descriptor. It's a really good descriptor. I would never have thought of plum, but after you said it, I can, yeah. I can, I can kind of sense that. Man, these are two very good choices you got here today, bro. Well, I appreciate that, you bro. Know, you know, we aims to please. And two that I've never, I've never had, so I'm 
very interesting in this one. And what you, and what you think? And I, man, I like both of them a lot. Yeah, I do too. And uh, I think uh, I hit the the big deal of the day uh, in terms of getting these at the price points I got the them at. The price point for this one is, was outstanding too. Yeah. So what was the, and you said that, that Big that, John got you hooked up? Well, for, I don't want to put his business in the street, okay, but well. I'll just say that it was not more than $60. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, so, and, and, and I've had this a while. It's, it's been on my shelf. Probably since uh, you've been holding out then. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, you I know, mean, I know. See, I, I see how you be doing it, brother. Well, yeah, yeah. No, you know, no, look, man, what? we we have what? so many different spirits, bro. I mean, we can't bust them all out at the same time. All right, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll go with that one today. Yeah. <laughs> that's my story, and I'm sticking <laughs> to it. We're gonna ride with that one. I see. That's my story. That's my story. I, I guess I guess got to come by and see what's on the shelf there. So talk to me, man. But tell me, uh, we got man. challenge. I don't know, brother. It's, it's close. Um, if we're gonna figure price point in there, and for what it is, it's price point is. I I I, I I yeah, somewhat. I, I, man, this is tough. Noah's mill to me slightly, uh, and I'm talking fractions. Okay, fractions. Um, but yeah, I, I I need to get a bottle of both of those. So, <laughs> so, so what, what are you thinking? Well, let me let me hit this uh, this bell meat again before yeah, I, I'm gonna speak on. I'm gonna double up here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go back again to this this notes here, uh, and they're so close. They're very close as far as I'm concerned. Well, I don't think that the 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 flavor profile is close. I think that the quality is close. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about, yeah, I'm not talking about flavor profile. Yeah. I'm talking so, about the, the, the bourbons itself. So, so, from, so you know, you, you, you made mention of the Noah's Mill uh, being uh, as complex as the Bill Mead Reserve. Yeah. And <clears throat> it might be, but for me, the complexity on the Bill Mead is more prominent. It's, it's more in your face. It is more. And I, I it's more. It's more I, obvious I, to I me. I see what you're saying, but I'm all I'm getting at is the the range. The bell meads a little bit tighter. The Noah's Mill is a little bit longer because it takes you from here down to here. But but the, but but the intensity to me is, is more here than it is there. And when you say more here, you talking about the Noah's Mill? No no no, on the bell mead. Okay. The intensity on the on the on the flavor profile. On the on the Bell Mead is, is stronger, but it's in a shorter, a shorter range, a shorter range. Okay. The, the the Noah's Mill to me is on a longer range because it goes from the 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 initial the initial taste on the that you're tasting and what you get on the finish are so different. Them are so much different than when you first hit it on the tongue than it is to the finish. In my perspective, you know, I'm not gonna argue with any of that, but what I will say is this. I really like both of these, but one of them matches my palate more than the other one. Well, spit the shit out, man. I, I didn't <laughs> tell you which one I like. I mean, how long we got to wait? I mean, man, this, you know, this is Noah's Mill is, it's the bomb, man. <laughs> I love the flavor profile on this, man. It is, I mean, it's, it's so yeah, it, so the, for me, the challenge winner, uh, and it's not by as close a margin as you said, uh, is the Noah's Mill over the Bill Mead. Uh, and, and, I, I, I and, might need to reevaluate if we agree on stuff. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I mean that that Noah's Mill is on point. Yeah, it is. It is on point. It, the Bell Meat is really good. Yes. But I would not want it as my uh, go-to daily drinker. Okay. I would drink this every day from now till the cows came home. Yeah. This, this Noah's Mill. Yeah. This that's how good this is. And at that price point, the only reason why you wouldn't want to have this as your daily drinker is because of the ABV. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a high proof it spirit. Is. It is. And so you got to be careful with it. You do. But the flavor profile just marries right up with what I like. Yeah. And so uh, so for me, the challenge winner would be the Norris Mill. And Brent gave it a, a split decision. No, I didn't. You no, said, so you ain't, you ain't even listening. <laughs> so that's what, here we go again. That's the problem. I said they were close, but I was picking Noah's Mill. That's a split decision. That ain't. 
That's a split decision. Yeah, see, your ass needs to get, you, along with your eyes, you need to check your ears. <laughs> because I said that I picked the Noah's Mill, but it was close. Not a split see, decision. No, Not see, a split decision, that, but that, I picked the Noah's Mill. See, so, you need to watch the tape. All right, bro. So, all right, <laughs> so, so folks, it sounds like, it sounds like since Brent has finally come around. <laughs> <laughs> to you, to your side, man. <laughs> We okay. have a we have a unanimous decision. It was close. Yeah. The Bell Me was a worthy contender, but, but the today, North Mill today today, today Noah's yeah. Mill comes out on top. Today it's the it's the Noah's Mill. Yes, sir. You know. I'll drink uh, to that. We'll drink to that. <laughs> Cheers. Listen. Hey, hit the like. Subscribe. Subscribe. Comment. Tell people. Hopefully, you like what you saw. Support brothers. We appreciate it. Thank you.